not just the tight ends, but the receivers, really the entire offense in terms of perimeter blocking is taking a step forward the first month of the season compared to last year. Do you agree with that assessment and why do you think that is? Yeah, I think we take pride in that. Um, it's something that we work all off season, something that we work um, going back to spring ball um, and then a little bit of off season with the OTAs and then in, in fall camp, we work that. And so we take a lot of pride in blocking on the perimeter. Um, anywhere we're blocking, we take pride in it. Um, it's not a joke. And so um, I think when you when you take that mindset to practice, um, showing up on Saturdays and doing that is just a result of what you're going to get as a result. Gee, what is it about playing in Michigan State that brings the, the touchdown playmaker in there? <laughs> oh, it's, it's nothing about that. I mean, it's just it's being at the right place at the right time. Um, coach is calling a good play and just doing my job and making the play when my number's called. That's it. For all the effort you put in blocking and all the top physical things like that, how nice is it to have touchdown yeah, it's, it's great. It's great um, to be rewarded, but ultimately, like, my thing is I want to be able to be the teammate that's able to help in any kind of way. I was just telling some of my teammates outside just now how sometimes when, we, when some of the lead blocks that lead for a touchdown, sometimes those feel as good, just as good as a touchdown, um, even being to be able to be a servant for your teammates as well. So it's, it's just all about winning, and uh, we want to hoist a trophy at the end. So that's what it's about. Gee, how much have you seen, how much progress have you seen from your side from the um, I mean, I see, you know, progress for myself and everyone who's willing to show up every day and put everything into practice. Just like, I mean, just like anything else, you, anyone who's willing to show up every day and work their tail off, they're going to continue to get better. It's not like it's a, you know, a marginal jump, but I just see every day as a drop in the bucket. I mean, I kind of talk, talk about that all the time. It's just like, it's another drop in the bucket. Um, I'm just one drop in the bucket better than I was yesterday. And so I'll continue to be so. So hopefully I'm even better tomorrow, just leading up to Saturday and um, just continue to be the best version of myself. Can you speak about the camaraderie with all the weapons on this offense? Just how we keep hearing Trevion and Hinchon, how they're just rooting for each other when we ask them a question about their own score. You yeah. were just mentioning Thanks, you like to be a servant for your, your teammates and things like that. So just speaking on how you guys are all bought in yeah. and you're just really like rooting for each other, even though you're all getting your scores. Yeah, I think we just yeah. all have a common mission. We all just, just want to win. Um, there's a lot of unselfishness on our team. We all just we all just want to win badly, and we trust our coaches. We trust our coaches that they're going to put us in good uh, good situations and good positions to be in to ultimately ex execute at the highest level, and uh, we have faith in that. So no matter who's scoring, where we're scoring, who gets the touchdown, however it looks, um, we ultimately just want to be successful as a team. We work really hard, and um, we're just we're just proud to be winning. Gee, how rewarding is it for you guys to see Devin come in for one play and deliver in that moment? Yeah, I mean, that kind of goes back to just what I was saying. It's, it's everybody. We call it competitive excellence, making the play when your number's called. It doesn't matter where you are or where you're at. When your number's called, will you make the play? And so um, Devin came out, and, and he made the play when his number was called. And so he was competitively excellent. What's it like kind of learning some of the new things that, you know, Chip likes to install? And I guess how exciting is it, you know, when you get it here called in a game? Yeah, no, he's um, – He's very smart at, you know, he's very good at what he does. And so it, it ultimately just gives us confidence to just go out there and play fast. I don't have to think too much. Um, I know my assignment and I just go out and I just do my job. And so that's just, that takes some weight off of the players when we're able to be confident in our coaching staff and just be able to go out and play um, relentless, and play fast and just dominate. You're, you're a leader of this tight end room. Is there some pride in the fact that there's four or five of you guys playing every game? Yeah, and pride in what way? Just like you guys are rotating in. I mean, sometimes yeah. it's just one or two guys for a season that you see a tight end, maybe three, but you guys have four or five. Guys. Yeah, I'd say. I mean, again, we all have the common goal or the common mission. We all come together with one mission. We just want we want to win football games as brothers. So no matter how that looks, we want the best eleven guys to roll out on the field and play as fast as they can to to help contribute to the team. So however that looks. So that means we got to go one tight end deep. We got to go one tight end deep. If that means we got to go four tight ends deep, if we got to if we got to rotate the whole room, we'll do so. Um, it's just whatever it takes to win. That's our job, and um, ultimately to to bust our tail at practice, leading up to it every single week, um, to show up weekly and and work hard. And so when we get there on Saturday, we're ready to roll. So however that looks, we're we're gonna do it. What are some challenges that the Iowa defense brings for you guys? Um, they're they're tough. They're they're physical. Um, and they're very, they're very gap sound. I think they do good a good job at what they do. Um, but those are all the traits that we have. We want we want to be tough. We want to be physical. And I, th I think that's our game as well. So this would be a good um, a test to see where we are at this point in the season. This is the games that we kind of come here for, these physical matchups. And so we'll see where we are on Saturday after the game. Is 
that something you guys kind of relish that now the competition is starting to ramp up and it's getting tougher game by game? Yeah, I love it. I mean, I love it. Like just, just the, the feeling I get, just knowing like, like they think they're coming in here, like they're ready. They they want to come after us, and I'm just like, I'm here. I'm ready. Like you know, and so that I'm I'm excited. Um, we respect them as our opponent, but you know we're here to get after them. Anything else for G? G, uh, Bill tonight was it a surprise to you? You had to embrace that like physicality and blocking aspect. Yeah. To see the physicality from receivers and running, obviously the whole line, receivers and running backs, everybody embracing that this year and being so physical. What is that like for you to see everybody? Yeah, I mean, I think it starts from the top down. Um, from Coach Day emphasizing that this team's going to be built on toughness. And that, like, that's, that's where it starts. And from the, beginning of, from the beginning of time, all the way back to spring ball and summer and camp, the emphasis of this team has been toughness. And so that's what we're going to show up every day and do is be tough. And um, I, think we've, I think we've done a great job of doing so. Go ahead. Yeah. Did it come as a surprise to you how much you were in the pass game the other night? Is it always a surprise? When you catch yeah. more than one pass. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, that's the last question right here. Yeah. I mean, no, not not really. I mean, you just, again, like I kind of like I said earlier, my job is to, you know, show up, be where I'm at at the right time, and just trust that the offense is going to flow the way it's supposed to flow. Um, we have systems in place to, like, wherever the ball is supposed to go, that's where the ball is going to go. So if, if, there's a day that, if there's a day that they're covering here, it's going to go here. If there's a day that they're covering this, we're going to run the ball. Like, you know, that goes back to the trust in our coaching staff that they're going to put the ball where it needs to be. And it's just our job to go out there and play fast and dominate and win football games.